go to other Earth Day events, they're serving, you know, hamburgers and chicken. It's almost like a destroy the Earth Day, but a vegan Earth Day is a true Earth Day. We are here at the Vegan Festival out in uh, wonderful Woodland Hills, California, on the campus of Pierce College. We have behind us some of the best vegan Thai food you will find in Los Angeles. Uh, Noe here is our wonderful owner of the restaurant, and she has great chefs that work with her daily. at Vegan Earth Day in Woodland Hills and we are here with all of the different hippies in the valley and um, it's really cool because you get to meet people both in health and ethical and environmental all different avenues of being vegan and there's all this wonderful vegan food and great people and friends so I'm happy to be here. Well, what separates our corn from everybody else's corn is that we use all organic material like soybean oil and uh, raw unrefined organic sugar, sea salt, a little dab of that. It actually comes out pretty well cooking in soybean oil for about three minutes. I'm Kobe and I'm a vegan for many many years I don't remember I'm too old now but anyway my parents were vegetarian so I always uh, was vegetarian and never ate an animal. And actually it opens your world to so many different possibilities and to be able to eat this and say I know it's healthy no animal had to suffer the environment didn't have to get destroyed and I can enjoy this food in good conscience knowing that I'm causing the least amount of suffering and sustaining myself with healthy healing foods that come from the earth and plants. Have you been vegan before? Um, I've been trying. Yeah, and will you be more now? I, I hope I will. I'm Chris Dingers, yeah. here at Vegan Earth Day with an adorable dog, two new friends, our old friends, new friends, having a great time, great food, great music, great speakers. Happy to be your vegan animal rights attorney, Christine. Well, hi. We're here at Vegan Earth Day, and we're from Bodhi Tree. Uh, we're in Orange County. We're uh, strictly vegan, 100% organic, and it's a family-owned restaurant. We've been in Huntington Beach for about seven years, so everyone should come by. We serve all, uh, you know, really good, clean foods. It was actually a very fun event, and uh, a lot of people who came, most of them were vegan, so it would be nice to have a lot of people who came here to learn more about veganism. But it was a very fun event with movie screening, nice fun music. There was also the Supreme Master Shanghai event, which was very professionally done. All in all, a very good day, and I do hope they have more vegan Earth Days. And Providence bless you, your continued interconnection with the animals, as well as your endeavors to save their lives and the planet. The Earth Day was fantastic, good, especially the doctors who spoke, Dr. Esselstein, and his son was wonderful. And there is a new doctor, and I forgot already his name, but I have his card. We fight with four fingers. Peace. Vegan Earth Day. She's helping the creatures, not eating them. Hi, I'm Savannah. And I'd like to just say that today, uh, June 21st, 2009, was Vegan Earth Day here at Pierce College in Woodland Hills. Quaint and, uh, and quite lovely, actually. Because the people I'm trying to reach out to, well, not these people here, these people are already there, you know? I'm, not, I'm trying to reach out to the gangbangers and the tough kids or, or somebody that potentially is going to hurt an animal. I want to reach them. I want them to see that you could be strong and you could still be compassionate you could be gentle. The strongest being is a compassionate, free-thinking human being. That is a strong individual. Because no government, no corporation is going to control that person.
myself eat very raw vegan and uh, my body feels good and I, I enjoy being in this atmosphere with just people that are just living in, in the grace and the love and the light of every day and it's, it's beautiful to be part of that. We're basically a vegan outreach organization. We do lots of outreach and leafleting at colleges and tabling at, at uh, com community events like this and we, uh, we go to a lot of demonstrations, or organize demonstrations whenever we find cruelty to animals. We're running the power for the sound system and many of the vendors here today. Also talking to people about how they can get solar for their homes and businesses, offset their household electric usage, save money. You know, apart from the environmental connotations and the sort of uh, detrimental effect that not uh, adopting a vegan diet or a plant-based diet, whatever you want to call it, does have on the planet, just the human benefits alone are, are amazing. I mean, not only would they lose weight and their bodies would be in better conditions, they would be, be preventing a lot of diseases which, which would incur had they uh, remained omnivores. I just thought it was very beautiful beautiful day out, you know, um, all, all the groups had, that were on stage had all the spirit, you know, one world, you know, all the people are dancing together, and peace on earth. And There's too many homeless animals on, this, on, on, on the streets, and people are giving up their animals left and right, and what I want to achieve with my sanctuary is for actually for people to be able to leave the animals with Pop Parent if they're no, no longer able to take care of them, if they're about, you know, if they have to go in a nursing home or if they're dying, and if they leave a trust fund or a life insurance program with the animal, Paw Parent can take them in, and uh, this way the animal is safe, and um, the people don't have to worry about the animal ending up in the pound. We're here today at Vegan Earth Day, selling our shoes and our belts. You can find them on our website. We uh, market ourselves as socially responsible fashion because everything that we have is vegan, entirely vegan, all fair trade. And the event, you know, everybody's enjoying and it's really nice. Yeah, yeah we're very happy. Yeah. yeah. If Bob was, you know, going to do it next year, we're not going to do it in six weeks. You know, we're probably going to do it at least a plan ahead, you know, a year ahead or something. And your experience will come in handy. Yeah, it would be like six weeks. Oh, but next time, let's just do it in two weeks. How sad. Let's try that. <laughs> like a, you know, vegan Earth Day um, event challenge, you know, let's see if we can put up event two weeks.